As humans, we get our genetic traits from our parents. Genetic features come from the genes held within sperm and egg cells and are expressed as you develop and grow. These features are passed down vertically through your family line. But there is another way to share genetic traits that doesn't require sex. A process called lateral gene transfer allows many species to exchange genetic information with one another. For example, jellyfish developed their stingers by obtaining genes of a bacteria, helping them to develop the poisonous barbs they shoot at their prey on contact. Lateral gene transfer happens in a few ways. Conjugation occurs when a living cell transfers DNA to another living cell. Transformation is when a living cell takes in DNA from a dead cell by using proteins on its outer membrane. Viruses also play a major role in lateral gene transfer as they can accidentally package DNA from a host and carry it to another cell in a process known as transduction. Lateral gene transfer is much more common in bacteria and archaea than in eukaryotes, but it does happen. When it comes to eukaryotes, we're not as clear on how DNA gets passed between species. One process called endosymbiosis seems to hold some of the answers. In endosymbiosis, a cell is completely enveloped by a larger cell, and they form a permanent symbiotic bond. We now believe that the first eukaryotic cells were formed through endosymbiosis, when a bacteria and an archaea cell fused and began working together. Endosymbiosis is not the same as lateral gene transfer, but it does set up the conditions for DNA transfers to occur within cells. Now what's interesting is that lateral gene transfer seems to be changing our understanding of life on Earth. One archaeon was found with so much lateral gene transfer, only 12% of its own DNA came from its species. Lateral gene transfer has had a large impact on the scientific community. It's hotly debated because of its impact on the tree of life, as it may change our view from a tree to something more like a web of life.